Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so welcome, everyone. Okay, especially from those from 5PE1 and 5PS2 to join the virtual online classroom. Okay, welcome on board. But before starting the lesson, please um, type your name to show your attendance. Okay, so everyone, write down your name okay, on the comment, post the comments by writing your name so that I can trace the attendance of today's lesson. Okay, come on, boys. Just type your name. Okay, welcome Ryan on board. The first one, Unknown Hunter. Ryan, hello. Good afternoon. How's your day? Okay, who else? If you're on board, if you're joining with me, please write your name. Okay, Jia Zhen, look Jia Zhen, welcome. Long time no see Jia Zhen. How the dress? Kid Juan, okay. Wen Yang, Kid Juan. Who else? Please type your name. Okay, so if your friends miss the live online classroom, it's okay because this video can be replayed okay as long as they have a link to the youtube so they can replay anytime same goes to you if you miss anything uh of my topic you can replay okay so you have Kawei. welcome good afternoon Kawei, good afternoon gilvan who else hong si good afternoon hong si we are the other classmates please remind them Okay, yesterday I asked you all to set a reminder that our class will be starting at 12 the afternoon. Okay, who else is joining? Please type your name. Okay, Ki Kang, good afternoon. So we will wait for another two minutes. Okay, 12.05, we'll start the lesson. So please call your friends who are still sleeping, wake them up. Okay, please type your name. Okay, so if, if for those who are on board with me now, so please get ready uh, your handout, okay, which means your notebook, some stationaries, because during this lesson, I have no handout for you. Okay, so we no printed handout, no hard copy. So you have to do your own notes. Or if you have your textbook with you or any reference book, you just take out. So, okay, why kid? Why kid? Good afternoon, why kid? Good afternoon, why kid? And Fong Jia Le, good afternoon and happy birthday to Fong Jia Le. Today is Jia Le birthday. So I'll give you a presence after school reopens. Okay, so remember to remind me a present for Fong Jala. So please call your friends to join. <clears throat> so if your friends, if your friends are unable to follow the live learning and teaching section is okay because they can replay anytime as long as they have the link of the YouTube. Okay, the time now is 12.05. We have the rest because we have around 50, more than 50 students from 5PS2 and 5PE1. Okay, how keen, welcome. And good afternoon, Jack, good afternoon. Jack, good afternoon. 
Okay, Zhuo Lun, good afternoon. Leader Ray, good afternoon. Okay. Okay, so now let's start our lesson. Okay, during this MO, MCO, MCO, everyone is doing the precautionary steps okay, to get rid of this coronavirus. So uh, for me, just now when I went out, I wear the mask. Okay, apart from wearing mask, apart from wearing mask, what should we do as a precautionary steps in order to combat this coronavirus? Okay, anyone can give me your idea. Before starting the lesson, you can give the comment, okay? Wen Yao, Sri, welcome. Okay, I repeat my question. So during this MCO, everyone is uh, taking the precautionary steps wherever you go, okay? If you go out for takeaway, uh, to buy food, or to buy some groceries, you wear a mask, okay? Other than wearing a mask, what is what are the others? Uh, precautions you need to practice during this MCO. You can text the comment. What should we do? Yes, Ki Kang suggested social distancing is important. Well done. Any other idea other than social distancing? Okay, let's say if you're going out, okay, once after you reach home, what should you do? Because there is no social distancing at home, right? Okay, apart from wearing masks, okay, practicing social distancing in the public area, and when we reach home, what should we do to get rid of this uh, coronavirus? Yes, wash hands. Thank you, Ki Kang and Jolun. Thank you. Okay, sanitize our hand. Because in the previous lesson, we studied about the alcohol. Why do we need to sanitize our hand? Okay, and Wen Yang said, Si So, Do He Shui. Okay, right? Thank you, Wen Yang. Okay, so. Without wasting the time, so we can start our lesson right now. I'm going to share the screen. Yes, Jeremy, welcome, Jeremy. Who is Jeremy? Huh? Jeremy is Sifu, is it? Hello, Sifu. Yeah, I know you are Luo Chuan Wei. I call you Sifu. Okay, so you can refer to the slide. I'm going to share the screen. Okay, before starting the lesson, let's set the house rules okay, with Tamsui. So this is not the virtual classroom. I cannot get okay, I cannot make sure all of you will be punctual to this online lesson. So I what I want is 100 percent participation. Okay. And I would like to know whether you have taken your breakfast or not. If you are not taking, if you are still haven't taken your breakfast or you're still eating, you can bring along your food sitting in front of your laptop, sitting in front of your computer. Or while you're eating, you can hold you can hold your mobile phone at the same time. Okay, I want 100 percent participation. Okay. And other than that, okay, welcome to Hua. Okay, if you have any doubt or any question, please ask by leaving the comments in the chat box. And if you study this topic before, so I want you everything to return to zero. Okay, because we need to unlearn to relearn. Okay, most of you will ask why this lesson, I make this lesson on Sunday, is it? Because for you, during this MCO, also for me, during this MCO, every day is Sunday, is it? Because you don't, need to, you don't need to walk out from your home to go to the school. So, there is no difference okay, for us to study whether on Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, because every day is the same. And, but there is a difference if you are not keep learning. So, keep on learning to have a different outcome. Okay, so now we start the lesson. Okay, so for today's topic, okay, just now, uh, your friends some give some comments that uh, wash hand is a very important uh, precautions to get rid of this coronavirus. Yes, we are right. So in this topic, we are going to talk about soap. Okay, in this chapter, chapter four, it's about the carbon compounds and soap 
it's also a type of carbon compound. Okay, so we know that soap is made from oil, for example, the palm oil, okay, whereby you studied uh, previously okay, in the last lesson. Okay, so how can we prepare soap? Can you prepare soap at home? Yes, definitely you can do it. So you, if you feel that you are very free in these two weeks, you can try to buy some ingredients to make soap at home. It's very easy. Okay, so what should we need? Uh, what are the substances needed for us to prepare soap? Okay, so now I see the attendance. Okay, Typhoon, welcome. Huh? Okay, <coughs> this process is known as a saponification. Saponification. Okay, you can see the first uh, few letters, sapon, sapon. It is similar to our Bahasa Melayu, sabun, right? Saponification. And what substances are needed in order to prepare the soap? Okay, we need oil as well as a concentrated alkaline. So how do we mix both of them together? By heating oil with concentrated alkaline. So what type of oil can be chosen? We can use palm oil, okay, or we can use coconut oil, we can use olive oil. And how about the concentrated alkaline? Okay, we can use sodium hydroxide solution or even potassium hydroxide solution. So as long as you, if you have these uh, substances at home, you can you can make soap anytime. Okay, I believe if you want to get palm oil or olive oil or coconut oil, it's very easy because you can buy this oil from the grocery or the supermarket right now. But for sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide, it's quite difficult. Okay, so this is the process uh, of preparation of soap in the laboratory by heating the palm oil, okay, any oil will do. So in this situation, we are using palm oil with concentrated, okay, remember must be concentrated, cannot be dilute one. So concentrated alkaline, for example, okay, so just now I've mentioned some examples of alkaline. So can you give me some examples of alkaline by giving, by the, typing the answer on the chat box? Okay, anyone, come on. Give me some examples of alkaline that I mentioned previously. Okay, welcome Yao Chen to the class. Okay, you are late, but it's okay. You can replay if you miss the front part. Okay, anyone can give me an idea of what type of alkaline or what type of concentrated alkaline can be used to prepare sodium hydroxide, uh, to prepare soap. Okay, remember to call your friends to join the class. Okay, if you are they unable to join the class on time, they can replay anytime. Okay, uh, Wen Yao suggested potassium hydroxide solution. Yes, you are right, well done. Other than potassium hydroxide solution, we also can use sodium hydroxide solution. Okay, so we heat these two substances together. Okay, after that, we add sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is the table salt. This is the yen. Okay, the sodium salt, and at the end, a solid soap, a soap is a soap cake. So what is the purpose of adding sodium chloride in the preparation of soap is to decrease the solubility of soap. So can the soap prepared in a solid form is not a very watery uh, texture. So we can add sodium chloride. And then this is the what equation to represent the preparation of soap. Okay, we use palm oil. Okay, we can use any oil as well as oil. Uh, react with sodium hydroxide, can be potassium hydroxide, and the product is soap. But this is not the only product other than soap. There is another product which is known as the glycerol. Okay, by referring to this name glycerol, the name is ended with O-L, O-L. So we relate to what we studied previously okay, in carbon compound. What compounds is the name it's ended with O L. Can you give me an example? Okay, what is the name of the compound? Okay, uh, whereby its name is ended with O L. Okay, please type. Please type. 
what is the substance the name is ended with O L O L. Okay, please type the answer on the chat box. Okay. So welcome, Wai Lok, welcome, Yue Kang. Okay, again, good afternoon to everyone. So when we see one of the product is glycerol, when we see this name, it's ended with O-L, O-L. So actually, what is this? Okay, yes, Kik Yuan, we are right. This is an alcohol. So glycerol is an alcohol with three hydroxyl groups, okay, is an alcohol. Okay, but we can ignore glycerol because this is not our main character, the main topic that we discuss throughout this lesson. Okay, so this, okay, by making of soap, okay, we can, other than adding uh, oil and sodium hydroxide solution between the alkaline, we can add other additives, okay, for example, okay, if let's say, if you wish to prepare soap at home, we can add flower petals, okay, some tea leaves, herbs, or even nuts or seeds to enhance okay, the benefits of the soap, okay. So, after the MCO, when every one of us return to school, and if the situation is allowed, we may conduct this experiment, okay, preparation of soap at in, uh, uh, in the school, or you can do it at home. Okay, so other than by heating oil, with the concentrated alkaline, we also can use another method, which is the cold process, cold process. Okay, let's see. Soap cannot work alone. Yes, really, because soap needs partner. So what is the partner of soap? What is the partner of soap? If you just have soap, it's, uh, it cannot work efficiently. So what is the partner of soap? Can anyone give me who is the wife or so, or who is the husband of soap? Yes, Kwa, Jackie Kwa. Uh, yes, Kikang, you are right, it's water. Okay, soap cannot work alone. It needs water. So what is the function of water in this situation? Okay, so now we are going to talk about the cleansing action of soap, cleansing action of soap. So when soap is dissolved in water, soap is dissolved in water, so it will form two types of ion, the positive ion, okay, which is the sodium ion or the potassium ion, depends on the type of alkaline we use. If you use sodium hydroxide as the raw material, so the positive ion would be sodium ion. If you use um, potassium hydroxide as a raw material, so the positive ion would be potassium ion. Okay, other than positive ion, okay, the negative ions are present as well when the soap is dissolved in water. Okay, the, these are the examples of negative ion which can be found in palm oil. For example, the steric ion or the palmitate ion. Okay, I give you an example. Most of the soap in the market, okay, you can check Okay, uh, your body shampoo, okay, or any hand wash at home, the ingredients which consist of sodium steric, sodium steric, or sodium palmitate. This is one of the ingredients. It consists of sodium ion and palmitate ion. So now I give you this uh, an example, show you. So here I have this is a soap bar. Okay, I close screen first because it's too small. Okay, you ever see me? Okay, so this is a soap bar. This is a soap bar. Okay, by referring to its ingredient, by referring to its ingredient, we can see sodium palmitate. Sodium palmitate. So this is the ingredient uh, of making soap. Okay, so and when this sodium palmitate is dissolved in water, it will form sodium ion and palmitate ion. So let's continue. Okay, Jie Heng, welcome. Good afternoon. Okay, while waiting for me to show the screen, I just want to ask whether you know how to wash your hands according to the suggestion by 
WHO. Okay, everyone know, okay, we are use water to wash hand, I use soap to wash hand, I must wash hand okay, regularly. But what is the correct way to wash our hands? Okay, who knows? Who knows? Or who don't know? If you don't know, you write no know. If you know, then you write no. Okay, by posting a comment. Otherwise, okay, if you just listen to me, there's no interruption, it's quite boring. Because we need to make a virtual online classroom to be interesting. That is two-way interaction. Okay. If you do not know how to wash your hands by using soap, you just said, okay, I do not know. If I know, then I said, uh, dian dian. Who said Dong Yi Dian This is Wen Yang. Wen Yang Dong Yi Dian Dian. It's okay. Don't know. Unknown Hunter Ryan, don't know. Jackie Kwa, don't know. Hey, the MCO, okay, is going to the fifth week. <laughs> Until now, you still don't know how to use the soap. No, yes, Tan Kia King, very good. Okay, so if you wish to know how to use, okay, the soap and water to wash your hands, now I'm going to demonstrate, but without soap without water just showed you the steps only because i do not have water for me to wash okay and after this lesson you can try it at home so i just have this is the hand wash so you squeeze the hand wash onto your palm but make sure your palm must be wetted by water must be wetted by water if there is no water i say as i said soap cannot work alone without okay cannot work alone it must Work efficiently with water. So first of all, you must apply water, wet your hand with water first. After that, you squeeze this uh, hand wash. Okay, now you rub your palm, rub your palm, and make sure the fingers interlace, interlace the fingers and rub it. Okay. After that, okay, around 10 times, after that, uh, palm over a hand, okay? One hand over another hand and rub it. Make sure the fingers interlace, interlace, and then vice versa, vice versa. Okay, next one. Okay, like that, rub your fingers interlace okay interchange and rub the fingers then rub your thumbs rub your thumbs fingers on the palm move it around vice versa and last your wrist so this is the set scale okay? according to who this is the correct way to wash our hands using soap and water okay let's continue okay Wei An is here welcome Wei An good afternoon to Wei An good afternoon Wei An so may I know how do you spend your okay while waiting for sharing the screen may I know what did you do during these few weeks do you already study at home are you just sleep? Are you playing games? Are you playing TikTok? <clears throat> okay, so just I stop here. Okay, when soap is dissolved in water, okay, so the soap ionizes into two types of ion, the positive ion, okay, uh, can be sodium ion, can be potassium ion, depends on the type of alkaline we use, whether it's sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. Okay, another one which is the negative ion, steroid ion or palmitic ion. So these two are types of ions are derived from the palm oil. So uh, between these two types of ions, negative ion, the negative ion is the most important one and it will be discussed in the following parts and we will ignore the positive ion okay so how the negative ions of the soap looks like so it looks like this okay it's not a sperm i'll make sure this is not a sperm it's not a sperm cell so it consists of two parts okay the head 
the head which is on your right hand side the right hand side okay is the hydrophilic head hydrophilic head so from this term hydrophilic hydrophilic hydro means water philic means loves which means this part loves water and it is dissolved in water whereas the pill it's not the pill or the sperm huh? this is the negative ion of the soap okay so the till which is the hydrophobic till hydrophobic till hydro means water phobic means fear this part is fear to water so which means it does it does not like water it dislike water so it, since it dislike water it will not be dissolved in water instead of that it is dissolved in oil okay so make sure there are two parts of the negative ion it consists of a hydrophilic head okay on your right hand side whereas on your left hand side is a hydrophobic till it is dissolved in oil okay so now let's see the situation so now now i have a piece of cloth okay, with oil stain or the grease stain on the surface and now i wish to clean or remove the grease from the cloth what should i need i need water I mean soap. So when soap is dissolved in water, it will ionize into the positive ion as well as the negative ion. But the positive ion, okay, we will ignore. It is it does not have a significant role in the cleansing action. So we focus on the negative ion. And we know the negative ion consists of the hydrophilic. Philic means light, hydrophilic heat, and the hydrophobic tube. So this is the arrangement of the negative ion okay so whereby the heads okay you can see the dots are uh, dots the heads are exposing outside outside means the water and then the teal okay the teal are pointing towards the oil or the grease because the teals are hydrophobic they are dissolved in oil so now i'm going to explain the functions of this soap Okay, when we clean a uh, surface with grease. Okay, the function of soap is reduce water surface tension. So be before removing the grease from the surface, the surface must be wetted first by water. So the function of soap is to reduce water surface tension. After that, the soap will remove grease from the surface remove grease from the surface which means okay, let's say just now i told you i have i have an example okay the cloth with oil stain or the grease stain so the cloth is a surface so the grease will be removed from the surface by the soap so after removing the grease from the surface the grease will be broken down into droplets okay into droplets so that they will not be deposited again on the surface okay now i'm showing you an experiment okay i know we have we didn't meet for a few weeks and you have no chance to go to the lab for experiment so today i'm going just to show you a dem demonstration instead of an experiment because you cannot join hands-on but after this lesson you can try it at home it's very easy okay now i'm going to short stop sharing screen and you can see me right now okay can everyone see me oh everyone today we have your senior joining us senior your senior i think four years ago four years ago Torwen fan my ex-student Torwen fan and now he is studying in Utah. Okay, welcome to Wen Fan. Okay, it's a senior. So um, let's see. Now I have a glass of water. So what is the meaning of uh, what is the function of soap? The first one is to reduce surface tension. Reduce surface tension. Okay, so now I let's see. This is the, just a demonstration. You can try it at home. Okay, I spray some token powder. This is the token powder, token powder. Okay, you can see the token powder still floats on the surface of water. 
still floats on the surface of water is due to the surface tension of water because of the water molecules are attracted by each other by an attractive force is known as a cohesive force and therefore you can see okay the token powder floats on the surface of water it cannot sink because it's not due to the density because of the surface tension now i use another same volume of water and now i add few drops of hand wash few drops of hand wash so the function of soap is to reduce surface tension of water okay i study first so that the soap can mix thoroughly with the water so i have no glass rod right now so okay i just use a chopstick okay so now use the same method i use i add token powder okay and you can see the token powders are dropping, are sinking, dropping, dropping very fast, dropping very fast. And now you can see the surface. It is clear. So this explains what? Without adding soap, without adding soap, so there is this water surface tension. And therefore, the token powder floats on the surface. But after adding soap, it can reduce the water surface tension. And therefore, the token powder can drop and sink to the bottom. So this explains why we need to add soap is to reduce the surface tension of water and so that the water can wet the surface, for example, the cloth, so that the grease can be removed easily. Okay, is that clear? So now I'm going to draw on the board. This one is the, my white board. I, for, I'm very sure you miss some of the student on duty, you miss uh, cleaning board as the usual day. Okay, so this is the white bar. So now I'm going to show you how the grease droplet is removed from the surface. Okay, let's see. So this is the surface with grease droplets, right? And I use water and soap to clean it. So we know that the soap. It will, be, it will be dissociated into positive ion and negative ion. Okay, the positive ion, which is hydro, is it significant? It's not significant. Huh? Okay, we just ignore the positive ion, but the negative ion will focus on the negative ion. So the heat of the negative ion is hydrophilic, whereas the heat is hydrophobic. So it's when the heat is facing upwards which means this area this region is the water this region is the water so this is the head of the negative ion okay and this is the tail which is hydrophobic okay and now the first function or the first role of soap is to reduce the surface tension of water so that this surface okay this surface can be wetted by water. Okay, next one. Uh, the second function of soap is to remove the grease from the surface. Okay, now. Okay, the grease is removed from the surface by the function, by the role of the soap. And the third one, soap will break the uh, grease into droplets. Okay, so what's the meaning of droplets? Okay, so this is a large molecule, grease, and it is broken into droplets. Broken into droplets. But you must still, you must know, you must know that, okay, the soap anion or soap negative ion. Okay, whereby the head is pointing upward. Head is pointing upwards. Can you see it? 
Okay, so the heat actually is negative, carries negative charge, carries negative charge, carries negative charge, because this is the negative ion of the soap. So because of the same charge, because of the same charge, so when the droplets, they come near to each other, when they are in contact, they will repel because of the same charge. So and therefore, the grease droplet will not redeposited on this surface again so it will follow the bubbles and suspended on the surface of the water so this is the cleansing action of the soap okay is this any okay any question regarding to the cleansing action and the preparation of soap you can ask question right now okay by typing your questions your comments your idea in the chat box Okay, so for today's lesson, we just spent around 40 minutes, okay? There are only, I think, three minutes left, okay? No worries. After this lesson, you can go for your lunch. But don't forget, tomorrow, okay, after this lesson, later, I will, show, I will share the question with you, okay, in our group chat, and please answer the question. So this is the last slide of our lesson. Please hold on. Okay, we know that uh, washing hands with soap is an efficient way to get rid of this uh, coronavirus. And now this is like slide. I'm going to I'm going to explain why it works. Hold on, sorry. We are already at home. Who? I know you're always at home, Vietnam. So, what can I help you? Sorry, I'll be, hold on. Jeremy, what happened? Why are you crying? Okay, so boys, how's your day? Good morning. What do you do in within these five weeks? Do you do any special thing or you learn any new things other than your academic? So boys, uh, I know you are sitting, you are waiting for SPM this year, not this year, should be next year, should be next year. So uh, I know, uh, no, don't just focus your time on academic, try some non-academic things, okay, new things, you can learn a lot of new things within these few weeks. Okay, never mind. I show you another within these few weeks. Okay, sorry, yeah, because I can't I can't share screens. I don't know what's the technical problem. Ah, yes, I can now. Okay, sorry, I can share the screen now. This is the last screen, last slide of the lesson. Okay, so we know washing hands is very is uh, washing hands with soap is an effective way okay, to destroy the coronavirus. Why? So let's see. This is the diagram okay, of the coronavirus, the plasma membrane or the cell membrane of the coronavirus is made of lipid, which means the oil or the fat. Okay, which okay, you can refer to the left hand side, which is the uh, the cell membrane is made of fat okay, or lipid. So due to the soap, the N ion or the negative ion of the soap consists of the hydrophilic heat and the hydrophobic till. So the hydrophobic till is dissolved, the hydrophobic till is dissolved or is attracted to the cell membrane, to the membrane, to the membrane of the coronavirus, which is the oil or the lipid. Whereas okay, the heat is facing towards the water. 
So because of this arrangement, okay, this uh, N ion or the negative ion of the soap can break the membrane of the coronavirus and eventually destroy them. So this is the rationale we wash hands by using soap. Okay, is that clear? Okay, boys, before ending this lesson, okay, if you have any question, please leave the comment. Please leave the comment. And I have a task for everyone of you. I have a task for everyone of you. So now I check the ch live chat. Okay, today is the uh, 19th of April. 19th of April. It's the birthday of Jiala. Once again, happy birthday to Jiala. Okay, I will check who is the number 19. Who give me the comment? Who give the comment? Who give the comment just now. We have a special task. Okay, Ryan is the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, nineteen. The nineteen is unknown hunter, Ryan. Ryan. So this is a special task for you, Ryan. I want you to do something for us, not just for me. So after this lesson, I want you to record a video, just a short video, on how you use soap and water to wash hands by using the correct way. So unknown hunter, Ryan, are you with me right now? Are you with are you on board, Ryan Hunter? Okay, so please remind, I will remind you once again in the group chat. Please record the video on how to use soap and water to wash your hands effectively according to the steps suggested by the WHO. Okay, so here comes to the end of the lesson. Remember, after this lesson, I'll give you a task for everyone. You just click the link and answer the questions you we'll do. Okay, so since long time we didn't say goodbye class, thank you class, goodbye sir, thank you sir. Now everyone comment, 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 comment. Thank you sir, goodbye sir. Okay, goodbye class and thank you class and see you next week, Sunday, same time. Okay, goodbye.